Hi guys, Pedreira here. This is the Antec Cooler 920 and I will use this cooler in a Z68 build. Right in front of the box you can see next generation maximum performance liquid CPU cooling system. It's comparable with LJ775, 1155, 1156, 1366 also with AM2, AM2+, Plus, AM3 and AM3+. Plus. Here we have a performance graph made with the 980X and you need to keep in mind that the 980X has a pretty decent stock cooler. Designed to unlock the maximum potential of your CPU, the Antec Cooler H20920 delivers exceptional cooling when you need it the most. We can see some features of this cooler, starting with the software that includes the liquid temperature and the dual PWN fan design. the low profile pump with the RGB LED that is customizable in the software and the non-corrugated tubes it is designed by ASTEC I would like to say that from these four features Three of them made me choose this cooler instead of the AG80. The software that is very well made and have all the features that you will need. The RGB LED that give a nice touch. And finally but not least the non-corrugated tubes that I really prefer them from the ones that we see on Corsair. First. We see the installation guide and the CD with the software and right under are the two fans. I don't know if you can see it but these fans are very well made and I forgot to show you the specs of the cooler but I will show for you now and you can see that these fans are rated for 7 to 2400 rpm so you don't need to change the fan only if you want one with a better look Here we have the mounting hardware and because the CPUs from Intel and AMD have different height, the blue plastic is for Intel and the green to AMD. This USB connection is plugged into your motherboard and will provide the connection for the software and it will probably provide some power too. Here you can see the two PWM connectors for the fans. I like that all the cables from this cooler are black because the cooler will make all the chains in the fans. The CPU fan connector is only three pin. You can see that the radiator is really thick, different from some radiators for a custom loop, that they are thick but they also have a big gap. This radiator is almost as thick as the bezel. The tube bends very easy and don't have any sign of kinking. And to finish, here is the RGB LED. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.